Hello and welcome to Biology. I am Diler and in this lecture I am going to explore the similarities and differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Don't forget to subscribe our channel on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. Let's get started. Now let's take a good look at prokaryotic cells or bacterial cells. Prokaryotes are single-celled organisms of the domains bacteria and archaea. Pro means before, karyon, nucleus, which means it doesn't have a true nucleus. Now we understand what prokaryotes are. Let's see what they are made of. Prokaryotic DNA is found in the central part of the cell, a darkened region called nucleus. Prokaryotic cells have multiple plasma membrane. Cell wall, which surrounding and protecting the cell. Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm in prokaryotic cells is a gel-like yet float substances in which all of the other cellular components are suspended. It is very similar to the eukaryotic cytoplasm, except that it doesn't contain organelles. Ribosomes Ribosomes are smaller and have a slightly different shape and composition than those found in eukaryotic cells. Flagella and pili, protein-based filament found on the outside of prokaryotic cells, which are used for locomotion and conjugation to exchange genetic materials. Prokaryotes genetic material. All prokaryotic cells contain large quantities of genetic material in the form of DNA and RNA. Because prokaryotic cells by definition don't have a nucleus a single large circular strand of DNA containing most of the genes needed for cell growth, survival, and reproduction, which is found in the cytoplasm. And here we see TEM image of plasmid DNA. TEM, which stands for Transmission Electron Micrograph. Many prokaryotic cells contain small pieces of DNA called plasmid. These circular rings of DNA are replicated independently of the chromosome and can be transferred from one prokaryote cell to another through pili. Chromosomal DNA tends to look like a mess of a string in the middle of the cell. A eukaryotic cell. A eukaryotic cells are defined as cells containing organized nucleus and organelles, which are enveloped by membrane-bound organelles. Examples of a eukaryotic cell are plants, animals, protists, and fungi. Eo means true, karyon, nucleus. A eukaryotic cell has a true membrane-bound nucleus. Let's describe the structure of eukaryotic cells. Like prokaryotic cell, a eukaryotic cell has a plasma membrane, cytoplasm, and ribosomes. However, unlike prokaryotic cells, a eukaryotic cells have a membrane-bound nucleus, Numerous membrane-bound organelles, including the endoplasm reticulum, Golgi apparatus, chloroplast, and mitochondria, and several root-shaped chromosomes. Because a eukaryotic cell's nucleus is surrounded by a membrane, it is often said to have a true nucleus. Organelles, meaning little organs, have specialized cellular roles, just as the organs of your body have specialized roles. They allow different functions to be compartmentalized 
in different areas of the cell. The nucleus and its structure. Typically, the nucleus is the most prominent organelle in a cell. Eukaryotic cells have a true nucleus, as we said before, which means the cell's DNA is surrounded by a membrane. The nucleus stores chromatin, DNA, plus proteins in a gel-like substance called the nucleoplasm. The nucleolus is a condensed region of the chromatin where ribosomes synthesize a car. The boundary of the nucleus is called the nuclear envelope. It consists of two phospholipid bilayer, an outer membrane and an inner membrane. The nuclear membrane is continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum. Nuclear pores allow substances to enter and exit the nucleus. Other membrane bound organelles Mitochondria are oval shaped double membrane organelles that have their own ribosomes and DNA. These organelles are often called the energy factories of a cell because they are responsible for making adenosine triphosphate. The endoplasmic reticulum modifies proteins and synthesizes lipids, while the Golgi apparatus is where the sorting, tagging, packaging, and distribution of lipids and proteins take place. Peroxisome. Peroxisomes are small, round organelles enclosed by single membrane. They carry out oxidation reaction and break down fatty acid and amino acids. Vesicles and vacuoles are membrane-bound sacs that function in storage and transport. All these organelles are found in each and every eukaryotic cell. Thank you all for watching. Until next lesson, may God be with you guys.